Hi guys! So today what I want to show you is my room pretty much and how to show your love for K-pop in a room in a more grown-up way. Let's get started. So here my room. This is my new posters. As you can see this big band, Super Junior, shiny, and then I have this huge 180 centimeters official Evex Taiwan poster from 2010. As you can see, this is she won from Bonamanari package and is glorious. And he's on, like above my bed. Also, I have a she won pillow, and over there is my desk. Um, this you probably know. So, as you can see, I hang she wants finally on the wall. So, yeah, today I did all of this. My dad actually. So what I want to talk to you about is the framed posters. Now, I know a lot of people have posters, yet, you know, they collect, they collect albums and they get posters with it. And I personally love the, to get posters in a tube, I don't like them when they're folded. And right before I went to the army, I framed a few posters to hang on my wall because before this I have, my whole wall was filled with posters, anime posters. And then we repainted the house. So my mom said, you know what? Let's make it a bit grown up. Let's frame your posters so it will look they will look good. And you know what? This is such a clever idea because look at that. It looks so professional. This is by the way with this is glass. So and this is a uh, wood to hold the, uh, the weight because this is a huge poster like this big band poster that I had I spent around I think almost a year searching for this poster specifically this poster this is my favorite poster of big band ever I'm in love with it look how good it looks especially with the black frame it looks so so beautiful and of course I have sorry sorry C poster with all the 13 members I wanted OT13 uh, posters on all oh, the glare from the light. Let's look. Let's try like this. Yeah, you can see everyone. Uh, I wish they had a OT15, but yeah. And then I have shiny over there. I choose the everybody poster because it's really fit with the whole white background and not a lot of color theme that I had going on. And it looks so good. Look at them. Look amazing, and then I have she one, which he was um, the inspiration for everything. Because, of course, if I have this really, really rare poster, I will want to hang it up. He's my ultimate vice. So, I have all my soup, all my vice groups, and then my ultimate vice, which is a great way to show. So, basically, what I did was to frame, and this is not this is a new one. I showed you, I want to show you the first one. I had four posters that I framed like this. Now this another kind of frame, this is much lighter. This is without the glass. So this is they just glue it to the cardboard over here, to the wood. And they do a, a wooden frame. This is, yeah, it's, I think it's plastic even. So it's really light, it's more cheap, and it's look great. Like I think personally, this is look beautiful. Look at this newest poster. It look absolutely fantastic. And because it looks so good, it was really, really pretty on the wall. I had all four posters like that, but you know, with the white frame, and it looked really good because the same frame make everything look collective together. Now, of course, you can do it however you want. You can use maybe fan site posters and made a little pictures. Like I don't know, go to a shop, get a. Um, this is custom made. Everything over here is custom made. But you can, I think you can go to shops and go, you know, frame that already exists and just put, you know, maybe a smaller poster inside. These are so big and they're so important to me that I wanted them custom made. So it's a little bit more expensive, but look how good they look, especially because my wall is colored and it doesn't look childlike or, you know, like a crazy teenager. It's actually look decent and beautiful. Yeah, I have dolls on my bed because of, this is me, but... I won't be ashamed to show it to family and friends that don't like K-pop because it looks so beautiful. Like I know if I'm going to move out, which I'm not going to do it soon, but if I'm going to move out, I will hang it in my living room like 
like that. And I know older people that maybe don't feel comfortable to hang posters because they don't love the look of posters on the wall. Here you have pictures. And everybody loves pictures. Like it looks so clean and so beautiful. And you can have maybe one and it looks so professional. Here, for example, this. This is, I got it as a present. This was like the original idea. I think this is why my mom thought about um, framing my posters. I got it from a really good friend of mine at the birthday gift before we even had Mr. Simple. This is the uh, she one. Uh, Mr. Simple one. It's the original from our album and she just framed it for me with, again, this is not, uh, this is fiberglass, this is not uh, glass like I have the rest, but it's still so pretty and it looks so good. Like I know I have this shadow from my shelves, but still it looks really really nice. Here I have, um, this is stuff that friend painted for me over the years and over on, on my desk I actually have the calendar. So I have again Super Junior calendar, Big Ben calendar from this year, the officials. I have She One calendar. It's so cute. And I have the shiny calendar over here, and then I have a little bit of GD over here as well. So it's like again eclectic, all my sh groups. So again, over here, just like my posters, I have all my bias groups, and then specifically one for She One. This is my computer. Hey. As you can see, and I think it's just a clever way because it looks so much better. So you can decorate it with a, maybe a little bit of pillow, like a one pillow, like an accent pillow. And uh, maybe on your couch, and then you have this, this look like art, because the posters are so pretty. And they really have special designs. You can really use it, you can frame them and do eclectic, you know, look how... I, I didn't put them together specifically, this is like, you know... To go like this but this is then go up again and it's a little bit more special and give a little bit more interest and then you can you know maybe put a calendar which everybody use calendars on your desk or on your shelf or something and now I know for example that as I'm really going into it so there is a um, tin cases that you can use that oh, wait, I will show you so you have like this this is a shiny tin case that you can just put on your shelf, maybe a couple from the favorite groups and it looks really pretty and then it's really subtitled, like, you, it doesn't scream K-pop but if you know the meaning it looks really nice. There's also little canvas that you can put on your shelf. There's a lot of really little ways to decorate your room or your, um, you know, your house with your fandom without it being childish or you know, over the top. I think, yeah, I have a lot of pitches and stuff like this, so it may be a little bit overwhelming, but if you ignore this, to be completely honest with you, I have framed photos, one pillow and a little bit of calendars. It's not like, I don't know, I think it's really done tastefully. I just have a lot of fandom and a lot of stuff and I'm really geeky, so I have a lot of stuff. I have like Disney stuff everywhere and anime stuff. And you know, here Pikachu for example, and Baymax, and the Moomin, and I, I'm a person like this. But this is because it's my personality and I love to include my personality in my room. But I think if you want to decorate your house for example, and you're afraid again, that uh, I don't, like I have a lot of posters and I like them and I love my groups, but they don't know how to present them in a grown up way. I think this is a great way to do it. And you don't have to do them all at once. You can just do maybe one, you know, one picture at, at a room. You know, just maybe above your vanity. I don't know. Just to make it a little bit more intricate. Because this looks so pretty. And I know there is a lot of posters that even look more artistic wise. Maybe you can see just a Rana or really cool stuff. And you can do, you know, you can interpret it. I have a a Big Ben poster that look like a movie, like a really little picture, one after the other, and it look really, really cool. I'm sure if you frame it, it will look awesome, especially because it's with the glass, so it makes it even more secured, and I personally love the glass. I really wanted the glass because I really wanted to keep this, especially this poster. Like, this was so hard to get. This is out of print posters, you, you can get it. I didn't meant to get it in Korea, it's not on eBay anymore, except of the PVC version from Taiwan. I got it at Yar Auctions. <laughs> this was hard to get, and it's not even in perfect condition. I don't even know if you can see it over there, but like, 
No, I don't think you can. But there's a little bit tear. But I don't even care. <laughs> I love this poster so much. This is one of my favorite posters in all of K-pop world. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, it's allow you to see the options because, again, you can choose whatever frame you want. You know, just go to the shop that does this kind of stuff and they will let you know the, the prices and the details and all of this. So this is like the cheap version when you don't need the glass and as you can see, this I had it for like five years now and look how, look, it look really good. It look really good. It doesn't look bad at all because you, and the also, you can see, doesn't have air bubbles, it doesn't have anything. This is just a natural texture of the poster, but it doesn't have any air bubbles because it done. If you go to a right place, it does the job properly. It will last you for years, so why not? I think putting posters on the wall will make... First of all, it will tear the paint off and make it so hard. And also it can damage the poster from behind with the cell tape. This is why <laughs> this one is uh, in a rough condition because the last owner that have it, look what it did to it. I made this, my dad made this wire I asked him to because this was unacceptable for me to do something like this. It is, this came from really, really rough condition. Like it has arts, uh, hearts that was painted around she one. It was ridiculous. Oh, I'm, I'm closing on his crouch. Wow, good job, girl. Um, but it has hearts all over him that someone just painted and I needed to clean it up and to clean behind it. And it was really like, oh, it was in a really, really rough condition. So I saved it. <laughs> My poor baby. Anyway, I hope again that you enjoy. I hope you learn something. I hope you really got this idea and you can use it in your own house. And you can save the posters that you have and cherish them and they will look really, really good. And you won't look like, I don't know, 14 years old. Not that a 14 years old is a bad thing, but if you're like, I don't know, I'm in my 20s. You know, it, it's not a look that I feel comfortable having again. Not like and you can see that I'm really, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that I do love, but I think like this looks just so much better. And I think every age can do it with everything. Like you love movies, do it to your movies poster. You like, I don't know, fandom stuff, do it. I think just, I just think it's just a good idea. And yes, this is a little bit more expensive, but you can use this. You can do with small pictures and, uh, you know, frames that you bought from a store to do a collage. It will be so cool. Anyway. I hope you enjoy, have a nice day, and I will go into it tomorrow this because this is amazing and I just finished cleaning my room after doing this, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed, bye!